uh, John Hass, I'm CTO at Great Lakes Communication. I'm going to talk for a little bit about Alexa. Uh, she heard me. So, uh, Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. I didn't really plan to talk too long. I got this two weeks ago, and Tony, uh, he said, you know, it'd be cool to do a quick presentation on it. So I'll, Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. All right, so we'll know when my 15 minutes is up. <clears throat> so Alexa's really neat. Uh, it's a pretty simple design. It's a tube canister. Uh, I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what's inside of it. I don't know what process or anything, but I do know it has nine microphones. And this is kind of interesting. So if I'm over here and I say, Alexa, you can see that the blue light is facing me over here. If I move over here, I can say, Alexa, I move, and it faces towards the person that it hears, the person that's going to listen to, which is kind of interesting. The sound quality is pretty good. Uh, Honor, if I said, you know, Alexa, play Johnny Cash. Alexa, play Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash from Prime Music. So, sound quality is good. While I'm listening, I can say, Alexa, turn the volume down. And the volume will get gradually uh, lower. Alexa, stop. But as I, was, as I was playing with and using Alexa, I was kind of disappointed uh, uh, with the amount of skills she had. Alexa, cancel. Cancel. Um, for example, I couldn't say, Alexa, what movies are playing? I'm sorry, but I can't provide movie listings. And that was kind of disappointing to me. I thought that uh, that, that would be like a, a skill that she might, might know. So uh, luckily, it's, pretty actu it's actually pretty easy to build a skill. So for example, here's my movie time skill. So it points to a URL. Um, and it has the interaction model, so what text, what do I want to say to have, you know, to have her respond? And then on the, uh, on the actual server, I can go look at my movies code, and uh, you can see the, the code is actually pretty, you know, it's not, there's not much code there. And I can say, Alexa, tell me movie show times. No escape, show times. 3.40 p.m., 6.50 p.m., 9.30 p.m., straight out of Compton, showtimes, 3.50 p.m., 6.40 p.m., 9.30 p.m., American Ultra. Alexa, showtimes. stop. And that was literally it. I mean, this, this code mixed with the, the developer part on the website was able to, and then the feed from, the feed from this uh, TMS API, which is a movies listing service, um, was, it was enough. But... You know, I couldn't be satisfied with just that. So we've got, a, we've got a paper in our town. And Alexa does have news. Alexa, tell me the news. Here's your flash briefing. And Alexa will read me US news. Alexa, cancel. But I wanted the local. Alexa, cancel. I wanted the local news. So uh, I thought the Daily Reporter was a good place to, to start. So I can say, Alexa, tell me the Daily Reporter. Alexa. Tell me the Daily Reporter news. This query takes a little bit longer. September 1st, 2015, 9, 16, and 36 seconds, 05, Authorities call arrests major break in regional incidents. Sean Broger, Tuesday, September 1st, So it's reading the, the Daily Reporter. Uh, Phase I of SMU water plant construction complete. Alexa, stop. And, you know, really the the... The code to that is, um, I posted it on my website, thebugshop.net. Um, but uh, the interesting thing about the reporter is, is they limit the, the total number of uh, queries you can do in, in a month, and it'll actually stop you from doing any more queries. So you get a pop up on the page and says you've reached your max queries. So that was a little bit of a challenge, but I figured out that the Daily Reporter website uh, does um, fingerprinting so it can figure out, you know that you're the same web browser, you're the same person. So um, I just um, randomly grab uh, version numbers and I, and I put it into the user agent. So it says it's browsing from Mozilla Windows and then it grabs random version numbers and feeds it to the paper so I can download the paper as much as I want. Um, the, I also did the same thing for the uh, Dickinson County paper. So Alexa, tell me the Dickinson County news. 
Alexa, tell me the Dickinson County news. Here's your flash briefing. Oh, Alexa, cancel. In top news. Alexa, cancel. All right, forget that one. It works. Um, but I had to have a little bit of fun. So, um, Alexa, tell me the best looking person in the room. Well, I think John, yes, John, is the best looking person in the room. So, uh, and then, um, you know, uh, we, we run an application where we have to keep track of the total number of uh, callers that are on the phone. Um, I thought it'd be fun to be sitting in my chair and I could yell, uh, Alexa, tell current calls. Alexa, tell current calls. LP plus one, so it's the, the live LP calls that are online. It just gives me the count and then the total. LP Something simple, but I don't have to pull a computer out to, 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 to mess with it. Okay. Um, and then I had to throw this one on there. Uh, Alexa. Tell me a mom joke. Your mom is so fat. They used Google Earth for her school photo. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, uh, Alexa, tell me a mom joke. Your mom is so fat when she sat on a dollar bill, she squeezed a booger out of George Washington's nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, let's see. So there's a companion app that comes with it. Um, that's kind of cool. So you, we can actually uh, backtrack with what we've been doing. Um, if I... So this is the companion app, app and it, I just reopened it, so it takes a minute to, um, obviously we were playing with it before the video started. So it'll, it does update. Um, so I was, so the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to control my smart lights at my house. So um, I, wrote, I wrote my very first app and it was um, to turn the smart lights in my house on and off. Well, I use um, SmartThings Hub at my house and they just released, uh, a, a, um, an app that actually integrates with this. So if I go down here and I go to my devices settings, and then I can go to my devices, let's see, connected home. And you can see I have four devices. It's weird because I actually have a lock too. So the, the, the uh, smart things guys only did switches, they didn't do locks. Well, that wasn't good enough for me. So um, I have my smart things app that you can see all of my devices in my house. And uh, so you can see right now my door is locked. It's in the center there um, on the top. So I could, do, I could say, Alexa, tell doors unlock. Alexa, tell doors unlock. Got it. All right, and you'll see in just a second that that'll, that, that'll go away. So it's actually unlocking my door in my house. There, now it's unlocked. Uh, Alexa, tell doors lock. So that's an app, that app I wrote, but it's cooler when you have the actual smart things integration put in. I could say, I could say, uh, Alexa, turn the outside lights on. Okay. And you can see that the on went immediately on the center left. Alexa, turn the outside lights off. Okay. So what's really freaky is I use this in my house and I was talking to my wife in the other room, and I just mentioned Alexa, and I heard her say something. So it's like, this thing is really powerful. So, of course I had to ask, Alexa, are you always listening to me? I wasn't able to understand the question I heard. Yeah. Before she said, uh, I only listen when you say the keyword, but there is this uh, button at the top you can push, and she goes red, and she quits listening. So I can say, Alexa, all I want is she's not listening. If she's really not listening, I don't know. I, I can't prove it. But uh, other than that, um, I think the Alexa app updated. So I can, yeah, are you always listening to me? And I can push play, you won't be able to hear it, but it's my voice. Um, are you always listening to me? 
that got sent to Amazon. So, okay, this is kind of cool. So, um, I bought runproject.io for this. io.log. So, if I, if I say, um, you know, uh, Alexa, tell doors lock. All right, right there you can see the query. This is not our address. This is not um, this building's IP address. This is actually uh, Amazon. So everything that you say to this gets sent to Amazon, gets converted to text, and then sent um, to the end program. So that's kind of freaky when you think about it. Every, all, and, it's, you know, and then it came to my iPhone, which means that uh, you know, it's storing my voice up there somewhere. I don't, I don't know but it's kind of freaky. But you can go back through and you can see all the stuff that we did. Um, where she can't provide movie listings, we played some Johnny Cash, we set a timer for 15 minutes. Um, oops, sorry, my reflector's not open, sorry. Yeah. You know, what's funny is, is um, she seems to be very, uh, I don't know, um, well, she's very politically correct. And, you know, if it's, if it's a factual question you want to know the answer to, she normally has it. Alexa, who's the 35th president of the United States? Alexa, who is the 35th president of the United States? The 35th U.S. president was John F. Kennedy. So, um, Alexa, who created you? A team of inventors at Amazon. Um, Alexa. What is the answer to life, universe, and everything? The answer is 42, but the question is more complicated. So she knows a lot of popular culture, that kind of stuff. Um, the skill, but like I say, the skill set's very limited. I thought, you know, being connected with Amazon, they would be connected with Prime. So I could say, hey, Alexa, what is the top Prime movie? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. So it's... It's the good and the bad about her is that uh, she uh, doesn't have a lot of skills, which leaves it open for developers to create. And, and I haven't built that that much that advanced of apps. When you actually do the when you actually create an app, it'll send you your utterances. So like portions of your speech will actually go to her in text, and then you can parse it and do different things. You can open apps and close apps on on Alexa. I haven't messed much with that because I think that would make it complicated, and it's supposed to be easy. So I think that's pretty much my whole speech, if anybody has any questions. The setup on that thing, John, does it go through like a lot of voice recognition, like you have to read certain sentences, do stuff like that? No, actually not. Um, the setup is very simple. So you pull out the Alexa app, you, the Alexa app on your phone, and um, it sees a, uh, one of these with, via Bluetooth, like low power Bluetooth. You tell it which access point you want it to connect to, and it's done. It's online, it's listening. I did no training at all. Getting back to your setup on here, <clears throat> you were flipping through the screens. So you go to Amazon, some Amazon website, and you yep. register your Alexa to Amazon. Uh, it already is. So on my, on my phone and my app, I sign on with my Amazon account information, yep. and then it gets put into Alexa, and uh, it knows which Alexa is tied to my account. So my developer account's already set up. So when you have Alexa go and like read a newspaper or download yeah. movie apps, is that just making a call to a website like your web server? Correct. I own. And, and you're just calling a PHP script yep. that dumps that information to her. Yeah. And she spits that information. To show you, I can actually. So I guess my thing is like you're not sitting there and actually writing all your code on Amazon's website. I what I showed you, that's it. There's just this that little, the little little blurb. That little that's it, and I copy that from project to project. Um, so this is the this is the output of what Alexa sees uh, when I say read the Daily Reporter. This is this is what this is what Alexa gets back as a response. So um, it's it's a JavaScript object. Uh, you can do more advanced stuff. So like you can change the type to a date type, something like that, where it'll actually um, 
read a date more correctly and things like that. But Do you have to be specific in some of your queries? Like you said, yeah. what's the top Prime movie? What, what, what if you were to say, what's the top Amazon Prime movie? Right, right. So Alexa, what is the top Amazon Prime movie? Alexa, what is the top Amazon Prime movie? Sorry. I didn't understand no. the question I heard. And, and what's, what's, what's um, I'll show you though, one of the first ones I built. Um, when you're looking at uh, this get calls one, this is one of the first ones I built. Uh, if you go in. So Alexa's telling me that my time is up. I talked 15 minutes. So Alexa, stop. Um, there's, uh, maybe it wasn't this one. It's 619. Thank you. <laughs> Alexa, stop. <laughs> so you can do more of these utterances. So, for example, as a developer, we only get access to the words ask and the words tell. So I can only say, so how, I, how I've said, uh, tell me the Daily Reporter news, I could also say Alexa, ask me the Daily Reporter news. Alexa, ask me the Daily Reporter news. Tuesday, we September only get access 15, to the ask and tell. Alexa, stop. But uh, go, obviously, Amazon gets access to more, so I, where I can say, Alexa, play Johnny Cash. Yeah, she didn't hear me, but you heard me do it earlier. Um, I think it's the echo in here that's causing her to, to cancel out. But um, so this is all you wrote for your. So this is this is the this is the intent scheme and the sample utterances. That's it. And I don't think you need this help intent unless you actually have a help. Um, then I then on the on the server, uh, the yeah the mom jokes. Here's the mom jokes. That's it. That's the whole that's the whole program to read the mom jokes. But aren't you pulling that from somewhere? No, I have a text file, so I kind of I kind of so I kind of pick I. I kind of picked the most PC jokes. So you're uh, not jumping out to like mom jokes of the day. No, because I, I would be I'd be nervous that I'd get uh, something really bad, really bad. So mom was so stupid; she tripped over wireless internet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So it just randomly reads. Yeah, it does a PHP random array element and just picks one. Any other questions? Can you activate Alexa with another word other than Alexa? Seeing my daughter's name is Alexa. Good question. Uh, so if I pull up the reflector again. Hopefully, yeah, I've had problems with the new version of reflector. Try it again. Here on. So it'll pop up here in a second. All right. So we go to Alexa. Go cancel. And then settings. And I think I saw it in here the other day. Um, John Zecco. Wake word. There are your options. You can't put your own in yet. It's either that that one that I've been using or Amazon. What's the did I see something you can purchase different voices for the device? Uh if you go back to another one, it's voice purchasing. Oh, voice purchasing. Oh. So you can actually order things that you previously ordered on Amazon Prime. Huh. And you don't have to use your computer. So if you have uh usually order toner or whatever, you could say order more toner. Uh just go through it. Yeah. We were we were um uh, Alexa, add a baseball bat to my shopping list. I put baseball bat on your shopping list. And you can see it's, it automatically showed up in the app just, just that quick. <laughs> We're going to find out what you're made of. Um, connects with Pandora. Alexa, play Pandora. Getting the last Pandora station you listen to. Hopefully it's Weezer a good radio. one. Weezer Radio. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Um, Alexa, play the last tune in. Getting the last tune in program you listen to. 
On today's TNT, we'll tell you about Google's new router. So, new last podcast I listened to on TuneIn. Alexa, stop. So, yeah. Does it have to be Amazon Prime? Uh, for what? For your purchases for a lot of this time, or can it just be... Yeah, yeah. So, if you're buying stuff, it's Amazon. Yeah, it's all Amazon. Yep, yeah, it's all Amazon. So, is there uh, app stores? Like, you created these apps. Yep. So... Is there an app store you can buy to turn around and get other things that can you sell? There are not many. So these bottom ones are the ones I made. These other ones are the ones that are available right now. And there's not many. So can you sell them or they just always? Oh, yeah, you can sell them. Yeah. There's an approval process you got to go through, which is kind of why what I imagine the reason is, is that uh, there's not many here. I'm guessing they have got a pretty strict approval process right now because they're trying to keep their product cool. Yet so, um, but when you have one, I can share skills with other people. So if somebody got an Amazon Prime or an Amazon Alexa and they wanted them, uh, wanted the apps, you can share them with other members. So or you can share the code too. You just the intents would work. I mean, you could share the the intents and the URL, and then it would just access it like normal. So. Oh, can it? Can it be reactive? So like, you know, you had the timer yeah. part of it, but. Can you tell it to like monitor and say if your full call yeah. is Yeah, I have not. I have not found a way to do that. If it is possible, I don't know how to do it. Um, and I never it, never seen anything that'll make it. That I've never seen any code that allows you to push a message to it in the in the background. I mean, because you can see in, in my in my query up here that there's no like identifying factors for this particular uh, echo. <coughs> Anybody else? All right, thanks.